in all righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth, think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and show himself unto such as do not distrust him. For further thoughts separate from God, and the power when it is tried will prove the unwise. For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding, and will not abide when unrighteousness come in. For wisdom is a loving spirit, and will not quit a blasphemer of his words. For God is witness of his reins, and a true beholder of his heart, and a hearer of his tongue. For the Spirit of the Lord filled the world, and that which contain all things has knowledge of the voice. Therefore he that speak unrighteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance, when it punish pass by him. For inquisition shall be made under the counsels of the ungodly, and the sound of his word shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. For the ear of jealousy hear all things, and the noise of murmurings is not hid. Therefore beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable, and refrain your tongue from backbiting. For there is no word so secret that it shall go the north, and the mouth that believe slay the soul. Seek not death in the error of your life, and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the words of your hands. For God made not death, neither has he pleasure in the destruction of the living. For he created all things, that they might have their being. And the generations of the world were healthful, and there was no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon the earth. For righteousness is immortal, but ungodly men, when their works, the words called it to them, or when they thought to have it their friend, they consumed to naught, and made a covenant with it, because they are worthy to take part with it.